Riot has published this incredibly long article about LOL esports and virtual passes. Most of it talks about revenue and sponsorships, and basically how they plan to monetize their audience. They mentioned the event pass rewards are unlocked as a reward for watching and playing, which I thought was strange because as far as I know you don't need to watch worlds to maximize the pass, unless they are referring to the tokens you can get from pick'em rewards. They also mentioned drops were very useful during the lockdowns, and this kind of makes me believe this is the reason drops have gotten worse now since lockdowns are mostly over. Then they kind of admit 40% of their western viewership watch on lolesports.com since drops are really popular. We kind of already knew drops were used as a way to inflate the western audience, now they want to further monetize this viewership with digital advertising. For example, they might send a notification to prompt you to buy a skin for a champion you play that appears in a pro game on screen. They then announce starting with Worlds they will be testing a new virtual pass. The pass will feature a bundle of digital products such as World Skin exclusive variants, in-game event pass and other content, plus physical merch and digital products from sponsors. Now this is where it gets interesting and starts to sound like a digital VIP pass. They want to test VIP pro player camera view, exclusive chat lounges and this will be tested in Valorant next year. Overall it does sound interesting and if it offers a lot of value for what it costs then it could be worth getting this virtual pass. It would be great for dedicated fans and the teams. On the other hand I'm hoping this doesn't take away from the free rewards we're used to getting during Worlds and considering drops have been pretty bad lately, Worlds is one of the only ways to farm a chunk of orange essence, so hopefully this isn't nerfed further as a result. And having an exclusive skin variant locked behind this virtual pass would suck for people who main that champion but don't care about esports at all. Let me know below what you think all of this means, thanks for watching, see you next time.